guys, how you doing on this fine Wednesday? Um, some of you people out there are most probably not going to like this one. But as I try to be acceptant of everybody, I will try and ask you to be acceptant of me. A few topics I want to bring up with. First one, Britain first. Um, this so-called shooting and stabbing. Um, don't get me wrong, it could be some idiot with the um, Britain first ideology. Um, a bit like the Christians taking a radical idea to the Bible and forming the KKK. Um, I don't believe for a fucking second that it has anything to do with Britain first. Apart from maybe the person shouted Britain first. I think that's the, the only connection to it. Um, because I don't even think they're stupid enough in their ideologies to believe that shooting people and stabbing people are right. I could be wrong, but as I try with everything, I try and speak my own mind and let you know what goes over in my head. Um, other topic, two Russians uh, being sent to prison for their part in what happened in Marseille. So are we now, are, are we going to do that here? Are, are we going to be uh, identifying the hooligans that were from Britain, that were involved in that skirmish, fight, brawl, riot, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to do the same thing with them? You know, because I, I don't see that happening. Um, I'm, a I'm appalled at the amount of people that have been arrested and hospitalised because of this so-called, you know, spirit of getting together and kicking a football around. So in the spirit of that, we should have fairness all the way round. You know, agree with me, disagree with me, let me know. The, the Scottish could be asked to pay either, like, for the damages that the British have done, um, the hospital bills, the money it costs to arrest them and that, you know... Why? You know, have you identified any of the English supporters that have gone over there that are Scottish? Are you, you know, nationalising them? Are you are you saying because you're Scottish, you know, we have to bill you the same as the English? You know, I think we're a little bit far-fetched from... It's gone a little bit further than, you know, watching a game of football, watching blokes kick a football around for 90 minutes. It's gone a little bit further than that. You know, because, you know, we're not just fucking going over there and watching football now. We're getting, you know, people are getting drunk out of their fucking minds and doing stupid shit. Um, which, personally, me, myself, I don't condone. I don't condone any of it. You know, the Russians doing what they did, the British doing what they did, um, you know, the, the, the guy that obviously shot the, and stabbed this woman, you know, are, are, they're all connected and they're not connected in a way. It just shows how degraded our way of lives have become or how separated we've all become, you know, uh, I'm showing my children the TV program, the Bible, and I keep getting asked questions by my children, you know, where's Jesus? You know, why are we hearing about David and Joshua and this, that and the other and, you know, the, 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 the Jewish style of clothing, you know, the, the, you know, that kind of thing, you know, and I'm having to explain that Judaism was the beginning of Christianity. There was no Christianity without Judaism. There must have been a religion before Christian, Christianity, you know, turned up. And my my boys keep asking, you know, about the amount of bloodshed and stuff that's in it and the amount of killing, you know. And I said, you know, yeah, at one time the world was a horrible place and we've come, you know, far from there that we, we, we use our voices, you know, to, to you know to, to, to end arguments, you know, so that shit doesn't happen. And then the next thing, you know, sh people are getting shot and stabbed the fuck knows what on the television, you know. It's getting harder and harder to bring up children in this world without trying to expose them to, you know, everything, everything that happens, everything that is out there that is involved in them and they have a, a, a way of changing it, you know. They, they see, you know, footballers playing football for kicking a football around for 90 minutes and they're, they're loving it. Until you see the the other side of the coin where there's people kicking up a fuss and kicking the crap out of people and shit, you know, it's just not right. It's just not the way, you know, we have become. We, we, we hold ourselves or we should hold ourselves in higher esteem. You know, we are, you know, the people that go over there are ambassadors for our country. You know, these people that have never been to Britain and all they hear is the shit that they see on the television, how we can act, you know, while we're in, uh, you know, a guest in a foreign country. It's unbelievable, you know. 
But as usual, guys, I try to speak from my mind. Peace and love.